Hello, welcome to Storytime. Today we're reading Oh the Pets You Can Get by Tish Rabe. I'm the cat in the hat. I love pets, as you see. You can meet lots of pets if you travel with me. We're off to the faraway land of Gerplets, where they know quite a lot about caring for pets. It's a great place to go for pet lovers like us. Pets are waiting to meet you, so jump on the bus. The first place in Gerplets we will visit today is the Play With Your Pet Park, where pets come to play. Dogs and puppies need exercise. They love to run. They chase balls and catch toys, make new friends, and have fun. Kittens tumble in heaps and bat toys with their paws. Cats climb up on posts and hold tight with their claws. In Gerplets, they don't let any pets play with string. Pets can get tangled. That's not a good thing. Guinea pigs need to get lots of exercise too. There are ramps to cl be climbed and tubes to run through. Rabbits hop all around and love to explore. They play soccer by pushing small balls on the floor. Birds go flying. Their cages are left open wide. When they're tired of flying, they go back inside. When the pets finish playing, they run down the street to the finer pet diner for something to eat. There's a lot on the menu, so each pet can find the food that for them is the very best kind. Mr. Finer serves rabbits a very fine lunch of veggies, fruit, hay, and some pellets to munch. Guinea pigs nibble veggies, fruit, grass, grain, and seeds. Clean water is something that every pet needs. Miss Finer makes cat food that cats love to eat. She knows cats and kittens always like to eat meat. Our dog Scrunchy likes dog food, so here's what we do. Feed him dry food or wet food or mix up the two. Birds feed on pellets and fruit twice a day. It is served up to them on a small plastic tray. Pets want to make friends like you and like me. They want to be part of your whole family. With a cat or a dog, you may find it is true that the friend they want most to spend time with is you. Some pets get lonely and think it's more fun to live with a friend, so we got more than one. Every pet that you get needs a nice place to rest. The Pet Beds and More store has only the best. Here's a beautiful bird cage. The best cage to buy is one that has room so your pet bird can fly. A dog might like sleeping on this cozy bed. Cats might like boxes or baskets instead. Guinea pigs like a cage, but they're glad it is not sitting right in the sunlight. They don't like to get hot. This cage for our rabbit is known as a hutch. It takes time to clean it, but not very much. Now, my friends in Gerplets have just asked me to go be the host of the Pets of Gerplets TV show. My first guest is a kitten. I gave him a hat. In one year, this kitten will turn into a cat. If you pet your cat gently and rub her soft fur, in a minute you might hear your cat start to purr. When you carry your kitten, we thought this was neat. Put one hand around him, one under his feet. Rabbits are cute with their long fuzzy ears. Some rabbits will live from 8 to 12 years. Meet my pet rabbit. She's known as a lop. Her ears don't stand up. On a lop, the ears flop. I carry my rabbit up close to my chest. That's the way to be carried that rabbits love best. Meet these puppies and dogs. They are glad to meet you. They are wonderful pets who are loyal and true. When I first got my puppy, I got a surprise. Some puppies grow up to be ten times their size. You need to train puppies. When they make mistakes, understanding and patience are all that it takes. If training a puppy is too hard to do, older dogs that are trained might be just right for you. If your dog ever tries to give your face a lick, 
Please don't let him do it. It could make you sick. Now, the next special guests I would like you to meet are these yellow canaries and sweet parakeets. Birds are colorful pets. They can whistle and sing, and your home will be filled with the music they bring. Try this trick with your bird. It is easy to do it. Hold your finger straight out. Your bird might fly to it. We learn this about birds from our great uncle Mudgy. A parakeet is also known as a budgie. He taught us about these canaries we bought. Male canaries can sing, but females cannot. Guinea pigs are sweet pets and they're easy to feed. If you don't have much space, they may be what you need. Guinea pigs like to hide in the grass or in hay. They eat all the time, about six hours a day. Guinea pigs like to get a warm bath with shampoo. Dry them in a soft towel, then brush their fur too. Meet Miss Fuzzy Finwinkle, the mayor of Gerplets. She's an expert on how to have safe, healthy pets. Her pets are on leashes, so they cannot stray. They stay close to her. They are safer that way. Her pets all wear tags with her name and address. Who do they belong to? Folks don't have to guess. When she goes on vacation, Miss Finwinkle gets a pet sitter or friend who will care for her pets. When you care for your pets, there's a lot you can do to keep your pets healthy and you healthy too. Put detergent up high so your pets can't get to it. A house plant goes where your pets won't try to chew it. Keep your toilet lid closed so your pets do not think that the water inside is for them to drink. When cleaning a cage, wear gloves like we do. Use hot water and soap. Wash your hands when you're through. There are people with pets, I am sorry to say, who for all kinds of reasons must give them away. They go to pet shelters. Right here in Garplets, there's a shelter that's full of all kinds of nice pets. So if you want a pet, here is what you can do. Get a pet from a shelter to take home with you. Now, at least once a year, many pets that you get to stay healthy will need to go visit a vet. The vet checks your pet listens to his heart beating and asks you some questions like, is your pet eating? A veterinarian, I'd like to report, is an animal doctor called a vet for short. Each time we take one of our pets to the vet, we write down what we're told so that we don't forget. If your pet doesn't eat or does not want to play or your pet's losing weight, see the vet right away. I know getting a pet is a big thing to do. There are questions to answer and here are a few. Do you have enough space for a pet of this size? Will he have room to play? Will she get exercise? Do you have enough time for your pet every day? Who will care for your pet if you must go away? Now you may just decide after meeting these pets that you are not ready to get a pet yet. But if you do get, a, get one, please don't give it away. Close to you is the one place your pet wants to stay. Take your time to decide so you know from the start you can keep it for life in your home and in your heart. The end.